Hey friends, today I'll show you how to add Stripe to WooCommerce in a way that your site doesn't break or become vulnerable to hackers. First, I'll show you three things that your site needs to have before adding Stripe. Then we'll quickly compare the top three plugins for adding Stripe to WooCommerce. After that, I'll show you how to use the two best ones and how to test them to make sure that they're working right. Don't miss the end of the video because I'll give you three bonus tips on how to protect your site after adding Stripe. All right, let's begin. Firstly, please make sure that you have an SSL certificate. Your WooCommerce version is 2.2 or higher and you have a complete website backup because even WooCommerce's own payment plugin often causes issues and breaks sites. If you don't have a backup plugin yet, check the video above where we compare the best ones. You can also check out our own plugin Blog World, which has helped over a million sites. Now, let's quickly compare the top three plugins for adding Stripe to WooCommerce. Here's a table that will show you the differences based on cost, transaction management, accepted payment options, features, and reviews. As you can see, WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway, which is by WooCommerce, is the most popular but not so loved option. Whereas WooCommerce Payments is a new kid on the block, but has some great product benefits. So, I'll show you how to use both of them. But before we use either one, we need to do three things. Firstly, create a Stripe account by heading over to their website. Once that's done, you need to go there and click on Activate Payments. Next, add a statement descriptor because this will show up in the statements that your customers will receive after they make payments. Lastly, enable two-step verification because it's always better to be safe than sorry. Great, now we're ready to install the payments plugin and connect your account. Let's start with WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway. Firstly, just search, install and activate the plugin. Head on over to your WooCommerce dashboard and click on the Payments tab. Toggle on Stripe, Credit Card and when the page loads, log into your Stripe account. Now you can test the payment gateway using your own credentials, but I would recommend just going to their web page and using the test credentials that Stripe offers. Basically, you can simulate transactions without having to move any real money around by using their test cards. Step-by-step -step instructions are mentioned on the same page, so just check it out. And you're done! You're now ready to receive payments. Next, let's discuss how to use WooCommerce payments. Compared to the other two plugins, using this one is quite easy. Go to your WordPress dashboard, search, install and activate the plugin. Here, you'll be redirected to the WooCommerce Payments page. Click on Finish Setup. You'll need to select the correct email ID and let your site connect. Next, log in with your Stripe account. This will redirect you back to the WordPress dashboard. But before you go ahead and start using it, enable Test Mode. Once you've logged in, you can select the checkbox below Test Mode. Any transaction you make now will be in Test Mode, so complete a payment and make sure it works. Unselect the checkbox in Test Mode to switch it off whenever you're confident. But there is one big step left. Most people assume that WooCommerce is secure or their security plugin is good enough, but you will be shocked by how vulnerable you really are. So I'll share three tips to ensure that no hacker can easily break into your site. First, please install a security plugin that actually works because if you watch the video linked above, you'll see that even the most popular ones are actually quite vulnerable. My recommendation is to give our free plugin Malcare a try. Industry experts love it and the free firewall and scanner will definitely help you out a lot. Next, you need to protect your wp-config.php file and restrict content records. Both of these can become easy gateways for hackers to access your sensitive information. I'll link a video above on how to protect your wp-config.php file by changing file permissions. For protecting your content records, you can use a plugin like Restrict Content. Lastly, please make sure that you've enabled two-factor authentication and limited login attempts so hackers can't easily brute force their way into your site. One last helpful tip. What will you do if your site is down and you can't access your WP admin? This is much more common than you think, so watch this video to find out a quick fix for this. Hit that like button if this video helped you out. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I'll see you again next week.